house. You need to find out what your house is really worth. So get a real price, what it will sell for in today's market. Not what it would have sold two years ago, because some people are still living in that two-year dream. Like I just talked to a guy that I've known for a long time. And, uh, you know, his neighbors sold for 17, 175, 165. I went and seen him in February and his granddaughter's going to move out. He wants me in his house, house. So I just talked to him half an hour before I get on this call. He says to me, yep, I want 2.7 million in my pocket. Of course, he said 2.5. And I said, and then he said 2.7. I said, so really, what are you looking for? 2.5 or 2.7? He said, no, 2.7 in my pocket. I said, well, all your neighbors have only sold for between 165 and 175. Okay. So if you're all equal, you're somewhere around there. And that was in February. So maybe it's increased a bit, but I said, you're not going to receive that money. So that's just him. If I don't get that money, I'm not selling my house is better than the next. House. Listen, a bank, right? If I, I came to you, so there's three sales right there and it's a sort of state subdivision. The bank wouldn't appraise it at 2.7. No. Right. No. So even if I could sell it for that much, she can't get the financing for the buyer. An appraisal is based on data within a 90 day window. So it's sales, confirmable sales within the 90 day window. So it's based again on facts and it's understanding that we want to ground our clients by providing them information again, that's based on facts. 